And we're back, fellow knife and outdoor enthusiast. I'm C, and this is Joel. Just Joel. AK Blade is back again with new knives and gear. This time they're from brands like WSN, Southern Grind, Finch, CRKT, and a collab between Burnside and DMOS Knives. Hmm. What do you want to do first? I was going to ask you that question. Were you really? Yeah, but I say let's do the Finch. Finch it is. Yep. All right. Oh, that Finch. Yeah, this, this Finch. This is the first time I've had it. I've seen it. Here we go. The new Finch Roadrunner. Mm-hmm. Available from landlife.com. Yep. There's the ding. There it is. Comes in three options. Hornet Yellow, Burl Wood, and Venom Red. Currently, only the Hornet and Burl Wood are available. But here's the good news. We've got both on the table to show you. Yep, so this folder is 7.75 inches overall with a 3.4 inch 154cm steel stiletto style blade with satin finish, single sharpened edge, and dual sided flipper tabs. I know, you're excited. I can hear the screams of joy. Handle is burr wood on this one, and this is the Hornet Yellow, this is the resin. Each has a tip up pocket clip and comes with box and stickers. Lastly, each frame lock has the Finch logo. It was designed in Steelville, Kansas, and weighs only 4.5 ounce. Outrun the Coyote with a Finch Roadrunner. Me beep. For just 145 from OlandKnife.com. That, okay. was great. that was great. You're up. Okay, well, it's a Finch. I mean, you've got the polished look here, you go. along with the quality of the blade, the handle. I really like the burl one got great contrast between the wood and the steel of the handle. Nice classic but eye-catching look. Still has purpose because of the sturdy 154cm steel. You were cutting something. It's impressive. I, 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 I like that the finch enough. went with a stiletto style this time and the dual sided flippers. So so cool. Reminds me of the uh, the extreme ratio BD2 lucky knife a bit which I really liked. So what do you think? I'm all in for this knife. I, oh. I actually normally do not like the yellow styles. But I will tell you, I like this yellow. I was kind of hey. thinking to myself, what a wonderful yeah, color. maybe I should have ordered a few more of those. So I like the styling of it. I like that it Shiny. is stiletto. Um, I don't really have any complaints. I do. Why take away the glowing logo? Hmm? Oh, the logo doesn't glow? Nope, not on these it doesn't. That, my friends. There's no need to do that. Is disappointing. How am I supposed to find it if I get lost in a carnival maze at night with no lights on? Or if you drop it in the grass, it's more likely. Of what the would two. I be doing in the grass? Because you're you're walking out camping and stuff. Well, okay, the dirt, the leaves, the pine needles. You mean the forest? Sure. Yeah, that's where most of the grass goes. I got okay, you. Well, I had grass, and you're like grass. Who mm -hmm. encounters grass? Come on. Okay, that does bring us to the WESN Samala, available in several options. Several, you say? Several. All right. At least three. Are you ready? That's several. We're featuring, featuring, featuring yes. the Rosewood and Blackout Titanium models today. Whoop, whoop. So this friction folder, yep. oops, just lost me, inspired by Wesson's Scandinavian heritage, is 5.7 inch overall with a 2.45 inch Sandvik 12C27 steel sheep's foot blade. It's about a quarter of an inch thick, yeah. operating on phosphor. Bronze washers. Bronze washer. I can't talk today. It's bronze washers. Thank you. <laughs> this folder can handle anything from food preparation to slicing ropes to shaving for wood for a fire, maybe. Yep. Yeah. You can get it with either the rosewood or the grade five titanium skills. There's like a gray one and there's a bl this blackout one. Outfitted with great hardness, high corrosion resistance, and optimized chemistry to minimize edge folding and microchipping, the WESN Smala is a compact folder you'll want in your arsenal. Always save the microchipping for your pet. Yeah. Or you can have it in your pocket too, you know. Yeah. You can finally gather your own Starting at just, oh, oh don't do it, because you know that. <laughs> That's why I made the Every face. time I see somebody do that, I think of them. <laughs> I know. And the words he said. <laughs> 90 bucks, AK.com. There's the ding. Smala is Swedish for gather. That's why the joke was funny. Just so you know. I guess if you have to explain it, it's not as funny, but. I made the joke. I didn't explain it. Technically, I made the joke, but 
Okay. I got you. So what are oh, your thoughts? Oh, so you got you got the kicks going on. You're so uh, fun. I got you. Uh, what what do thoughts? I think? Yeah. Well, okay. I will set aside the fact that I absolutely do not like friction folders. Okay, good. And I also do not like. <laughs> I also do not like. Uh, Wasn't that funny? What do you call this? Front fold, front flippers. It's a friction folder. I so got you it. Gotta, but here's what I can't will say: flip a friction folder. Really. What I would do with this knife is I would lend it to people when they ask to borrow my oh, knife. Oh, so I say, you don't oh, a nice one. They'd be like, "Wow, that's a nice knife." Then it'd be like, "Oh, how do you use this? Ow!" What? Like you just put your thumb on the back while, as you're working there. You know, it's, it's, what do you mean? It's easy to use. And just push it, though. Yeah. Other than that, you could probably shave with that thing, too. Yeah, I, I always think like a razor when I see this. Yeah, so do I. It's a touch small for me, and as you said, I'm not a humongous friction folder fan. I do see the appeal. Simplicity and design is nice. However, it's not a new idea. I mean, I've seen friction folders like this done in many other companies, like Deva mm -hmm. Blade and Ohada Knives. Yet, I can't say I wouldn't use it. I could see someone just popping this in the pocket and using it while camping or out hiking. It only weighs like an ounce, like 1.2 for this, and I think mm -hmm. 1.4 for the titanium. Well, I will say this. If I'm out somewhere and I don't have a knife and I need one, and I'd be happy to have this knife at that time. Say I was on a, like, you know, a bus, and some dude was like acting crazy. I'd be like, hold on a second. Friction folder, baby. Mm -hmm. He'd be like, oh, you're serious, because friction folders are for serious people. They are. Yeah. All oh, right. Or hipsters. Ready? Next knife. Okay. The latest from Southern Grind. The Bad Monkey Models. Yes. Here we go. The new Bad Monkey mo Sorry, go ahead. But Joel. first... See, you didn't let me digress. I'm sorry. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. As well as ring-a-ding-ding that bell. There it is. All you can... Oh. Oh. So you can stay Good in the Lord. know with AK. And be notified when we drop new content. Also, by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing, you get entered in our giveaways, which we host all the time, both here and on AK's blog, so don't miss out on the chance to win some awesome stuff. That is true. That is true. We don't want yeah. you to miss out. This week, we are giving away the ultimate V Knives prize pack, which includes the V Knives Atmosphere Titanium with S35 VN steel. Look Somebody's that. getting that next week. Yep, they are. As well as a brand new 3V sharpening system. A $435 value. Absolutely. Yeah. For one lucky outdoorsman or outdoorswoman. So make sure to enter soon. Love the ridges. You can also double your chances by heading over to AK's blog and answering the AK trivia question for this giveaway. Link is in the description below. Speaking of $435 values or something close to it, mm -hmm. I had this Medford M48. I just wanted to show you. You always do this. <laughs> you always do this. It's the latest Medford that, uh, just came in. Mm -hmm. We didn't get but a few, yeah. like always. So like the black, the black one, because I think we had a gray one. Yes, think. but I had to because it wasn't very Medford-like, and people like Medford so much. All right, that's good. Let's okay. move on. Mm -hmm. We're up with you, AKers. Yep. So make sure to enter those giveaways. It's a free V knives, titanium atmosphere, and three V sharpener. Just enter. It's quick. It's painless, and it helps all involved. By the way, the AK Q and A interview with V knives Mike Fellencamp is going to be out very soon. You can enter the giveaway there too. You I can know, also give you all types of ways to enter. I will have ways to enter. I know. Somebody, somebody's gonna win it. Somebody has to. You can also get some sneak peeks at some new stuff he'll be releasing as we ask him questions that uh, you guys have submitted. Yep. So make sure to watch it. All right. Newest bad monkey. They've got the jewel jade. An OD green one, carbon fiber, and now in tons of blade styles. There's like drop point, there's tanto, there's serrated drop point. Okay. And then, Possibilities are endless. Exactly. So, Joel's showing you the uh, Jewel J10 option with a 3.8 inch modified tanto blade made of Sandvik 14C28N. It's got a flat grind jimping and what? is offered in both black finish and satin yeah. ours is sporting the satin tanto no serrations on this model it is 9.1 inches overall this plain edge titanium liner lock is deployed with dual sided thumb studs bam yeah it features a shortened tip up pocket clip and 
an integrated lanyard hole. That's great. No joke on that. No. Huh? Sorry, I kept them to myself. <sighs> they were good too. Mm -hmm. There's also the Emerson Wave feature, guys. So if you want to open it that way, you can. Serialized as well. That was, wasn't it? Yep. I was surprised. Finally, with multiple options and scale colors, materials, blade styles, and finishes, you can get a Southern Grind Bad Monkey that's good for you, starting at just 202 from Atlantic Knife. There's a ding. Yeah. All right, well, what do I think? Yep. I am a Bad Monkey fan. Are you? Yes, I am. Is it because it has a little Bad Monkey on the pivot cap cover? Yes. He's so cute. That's part of it. Most important part is the size of the knife and the styling. It's a nice tanto cut. I really like that. Fits good in your hand. Other than that, Ooh. you ain't got to convince me anymore. Go ahead. I know I sound like a broken record or what do the kids say today? A buffering Spotify song. But I really, really love options. Okay. I love that there's a jewel jade. I love that there's a carbon fiber. I love that there's an OD green. You could get all types of blade cuts and finishes. I love that very least I want an illusion of choice but this one there's like I don't even know how many I also like the feel of the knife the size how well it's made USA all the way it's an overall A plus for me all right A plus 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 plus, plus. So, I'm gonna shoot your eye out yeah all right next is a CRKT triple play yep only one option yeah, only mm. one. It's a multi-tool. It is a multi-tool. It is designed by Philip Booth. Uh-oh. <laughs> Lincoln better watch out. In Ithaca, Michigan. It's ready for picnics, hiking, camping, or even a little bartending, if yeah. you know what I mean. It's the tool you've always needed, it isn't is, it? Though, isn't yeah. It is, Yeah. So, fitted with corkscrew, bottle opener, which is right there. Two 8CR 13 MOB folding blades, one on both sides of the handle. This carry has everything you need to keep the party going. Party and kiss. Yep. I ain't been drinking much wine lately. You? Oh, I wonder why. I moved on to uh, cigars. Bourbon. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to say because you're. It's not summer. Of your mother in law. It's. Uh, <laughs> that was celebratory. <laughs> Yeah. You went all Got out as soon as she left, and then have. you had no reason to drink after that because all your problems just went away. I don't drink for problems. Oh, like, you don't? Yeah. I have reason to drink, drink every day. Drink for fun. It's 7.25 inch overall, 3.79 inch closed, and the main blade is 2.51 inch with a plain edge and satin finish. Yep. Of course, you open it manually with a nail, nail. nail nick. Nailed it. Handleless <laughs> pack of wood and features a deep carry pocket clip. Look at that pocket Get clip. you a home bar buddy. <laughs> for only $34.84. From Atlantic.com. There's the ding. Yep. All right. <clears throat> I would use this everywhere. It's small, compact. Would appeal to me a little more if it had some color. They could easily like made the logo their, their teal green and mm -hmm. gave it a little something. Uh, on the other hand, CRKT asking $35 for 8CR13 MOV. Not crazy about that, but it's more reasonable. That's what they always ask. <laughs> it's a little more reasonable than some of the other ones, so I, I can't say I'm too upset. I mean, what do you think? Well, I'll tell you what I think. I'm actually getting one of these. And do you know why? Because the thing you use to take wine, the, the stoppers screen. out of wine, does not work. It always breaks. Is well, that it? The one I keep in my uh, travel bag, let's say. You know, you get somewhere a bug out and, you, and, you, and you're just out and you pick up a couple of things of wine at a wine tour or something and you get back to your room and you can't even drink it because you don't have a corkscrew. The, the, the freaking hotel well, look, or the little, uh, what's the other place? Not a hotel, but like a... I don't know about hotels. I'll stay in this, but go ahead. What's that place where you kind of like share with other people, but you don't share it? Timeshare. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Yeah, I don't say those either. But condos, I got you. All right, Jeez. so now this and a pack of cards. What so, else do right. you need? You know, you just need a Chinese restaurant menu, and Movie. you're all set. You need a DVD player or yeah. a television. I don't know, maybe. You okay. MP3 player. So other than that, I mean, it's got a knife with it. I do like this. I mean. Because this gives you a good grip if you wanted to use it. I'm not going to the bathroom nice. without a knife, so I always have a knife, but a corkscrew? And a knife. And Although I'm, you won't be able to go through uh, the airplane airport. Yeah, I don't want to do this. airports either. Because I have corkscrew, this thing with covering my face. I don't want to do it. So, That's you know, great. It's what right. it is. Up. I can see this being used for all kinds of reasons. Not a new idea, but it's a cool design. I would agree. Yep. All I right. Yep. 
Final left on the table. Burnside DMOS collab. Yep, I had to do the pocket knife collab motion there. Wow. Well, it's not the collab motion, but it's I got my you. collab motion. I got you. Yeah, go ahead. I'll serve and play this Medford. Okay, DMOS, <laughs> a brand brand based out of Salt Lake City, Utah, famous for their durable, hard use pro shovels, decided they wanted to make a knife that rivaled their own shovel. So they teamed up with legendary designer and owner of Burnside Knives, Rick. Madeiras, not Moranis. And thus, this pocket <laughs> knife was born. Not Moranis. Nope. Oh, honey, I shrunk your pocket knife. Yep, two options here. Blackout mm -hmm. and camo. Hmm. Guess, guess what one we have. We have the blackout option. Yep. It's 6.2 inch overall with a 2.6 inch D2 tool steel blade. Open with a dual sided thumb studs. What? There it is. I know. This 0.13 inch thick blade has a hollow grind. That's nice. Spear point cut. Jimmy. And I ain't done it in a while. Sorry. It's 58, 59, call it 60 on the HR C scale. Yeah, you did it prematurely. You already had to see it, but you didn't even see it yet. Handles on this liar lock are black. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Black G10, though as we mentioned, it does come in camo G10 with satin finish on the blade. Hardware for both knives, such as the screws and tip-up reversible pocket clip, match the finish of their blades. Mm. Finally, each folder has a lanyard hole, weighs just 3.3 ounces, and is available for just 70 40 70 40 yeah. All right, I'm curious as to what you think of this knife. All right, well, I have to think real quick. All right. Dun, 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 dun. 6.2 inches. Okay, here's where I'm at. This is the first time we've had this brand, right? Is it the Honey I Shrunk Your Knife? Okay, I'm in for this knife. One, because the first one they sent here does not have what you would call crap steel. <laughs> it has D2. I'm good with that. Great. Um, great. I like the feel of it. Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me of the feel of a... Um, Spartan blade yeah. or a cold steel. Okay, like a Talos but, or an Aster. Yeah, same price range. You mm -hmm. said seventy forty, right? Seventy forty, yeah. Okay, so seventy bucks. I think they're Talos and Tal. Just let me get seventy forty. I think Asters and Talos are more actually. So, I like this knife. I like the blade shape too. I've never heard of any of these companies. However, I have to say this knife isn't bad. It opens well, sturdy design and look. I'm not crazy about the strength of the liner lock disengagement. I mean, I, I can close it one hand. It's just a little difficult for me. Uh, however, I've seen D2 pocket knives made a whole lot worse than this one. A whole lot. So for their first creation, I have to say it's they did a great job. I mean, solid A for me. And not to mention, it's got the good size linear hole. It's got the reversible lefty pocket clip. Puts it a step above others. Hmm. Well, that's what I want. Yep. This time we weren't terrible. Yeah. Um, that's... Yeah. You know, it's funny. It says, your knife says a lot about you. Well, your first impression says a lot about you, too. And I would have to say that they didn't send junk here. No. You know, it's in the right price range. D2 it reminds me of a uh, Spartan's Blade mm -hmm. or a Cold Steel, especially with the um, G10 handle, mm -hmm. how rough it is. I, I mean, I like it. The only issue that I would have... Here it comes... It would be the stuff, I mean, I could live with the Burnside knives on the, you know, brandishing your name. Yeah, I think just one place, though. It's stuff on the blade. You know, it kind of... Like an extreme ratio type of vibe. I mean, looking at this thing kind of reminds me of watching, like, a European soccer. The teams are running around with logos all over their shirts. It's Guinness <laughs> versus Ikea. I mean... The Pizza Hut. If you aren't familiar with the teams, you're like, well, I don't know. That could be anybody. They got, you know, European Airlines on theirs and Qatar Airlines. I mean, maybe it's a maybe it's a battle of airlines. I don't know. But I, I would get this knife. I would say I, I like it. Pizza Hut's going. Just don't like goal. that part right there. Okay. Well, I have a question. Would you have liked it better if DMOS had put their logo right here next to Burnside on the blade and then just left it off there? I think what it is. Is that I'm not flashy. I don't really like flashy. Subtle. If you need to tell me who you made it, tell me you made it. But yeah, you ain't gonna be like, guess what? We made it. But it's, it's ours. It's multiple people though, so they all want to make I sure know, they get their credit and that you on. know. Well, you know, your credit shows up in your checkbook. No. So if people like your knife, they'll buy it. It's a collab. And that's how you know. 
That's how I look at it. I don't mm. know. Okay. All right. Guess well, up to you now. I just think that since that was our final carry what? on the table this week, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring that bell. All right. So you can stay connected with us and get skinny on all new content. Like. Oh, that's my cue. The yeah. AK Q and A with V knives, Mike Villanueva. Or maybe a V knives tour, or tool reviews, knife reviews, knife tips, and more. All of it is right here on AK Blade. You can also check out our blog where we post giveaway info, videos, knife info. It's a tool fountain of knowledge. Wow, beef tips and knife tips. You'll find find them if you head on over to Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, IGTV, Instagram, and Rumble. Check us out anytime, anywhere. Okay, favorite knife on the table this week? Go. Oh, I gotta do a favorite knife. You don't really need a drum roll. I'm gonna go with the Southern Grind. Yeah. yeah. Bad. You hesitated. Monkey. I was just being facetious uh, towards you. Yeah. I was also thinking Spider Cody. <laughs> Southern Grind. I got it. Emerson Wave feature. Mm hmm. One day I'll learn how to use Joel that. Joel Jade. Properly. Joel J. Can't beat it. I like that knife a lot. It fits my hand perfectly. It's a good sized knife. Anytime there's a good sized knife on the table, mm -hmm. it's gonna take precedent over the other ones for me. Yeah, I'm going Finch Roadrunner. That is my favorite. This I knew they're you just would. they're just nice. I mean, it's one of those companies where I I like pretty much everything they do. It's a Finch, the Tor, a Best Tech, Reich. They always do a step above. I I, I like Finch and I like this knife. So. And they don't overdo it. Yeah. If it's one knife a month or two, mm -hmm. maybe seven or eight a year, whatever it is, you can carry different ones each day. Should and, have had more. You know, people be like, hey, what's that? They're like, well, that's a Finch knife. And next thing you have it, well, what's that? It's a Finch knife, too. They got similar bolsters, mm -hmm. but, you know, it's a little bit different each time. And, you know, it's not Stiletto. two or three new ones every month with seven different versions. That's true. That's so, true. I'm in for that. I feel like I can collect them all. I so, do miss. It's actually what it says on the box. The glow in the. Collect them all. Oh my gosh, they're Pokemon. Oh, let's catch them all. That's good. Well, that's, that's never was a, a Pokemon sacrilegious there. Yeah. But that's what the uh, gonna go. I just like the the look of it, and I I do wish it had the the glow in the dark logo. But and even though they don't say they're limited, mm -hmm. they're limited. They are limited. They only make a certain amount. It's only normally three hundred mm -hmm. per uh, color. Yeah. And they don't make them again. No. If people haven't noticed, you I can't go find none of the old ones. That's the way it is. Yeah, got it's gone now. Never see it again. All right. Unfortunately, with that, I'm C, and this is Joel. Does not glow in the dark, Joel. No. And we are signing off.